Hey guys, in this video you are going to learn how to center HTML elements like divs with Flexbox by using its two special properties called Justify Content and Align Items. I am also going to show the main difference between these two properties for centering elements and one important rule to know before you even use them. So let's get started. Alright, so we have two div elements represented as two boxes in our layout and we would like to place them in the center of the page. Some people who are not that experienced with CSS will come here and try a cool property, justify content, because it has a value of center. Well, that's true, so they try it and they see that nothing changes. So what to do next? They try another property, which also has a value of center, align items and select center, save it, and still it didn't work. So what is going on here? Well, here is the only important rule to know even before you use these properties. And the rule is that they only work, these properties only work inside a flex container. So what is a flex container? CSS provides a newer technique that helps us for building layouts and place elements in a much easier way called Flexbox, which we start using with a property called flex. So when I assign to a div, let's say to this one, a display flex property, let's define a class of container. So when we define here a flex property, after saving it, all of the elements under this container, which are these boxes, will become its flex children. So let's save it. As you can see, now their position behavior also has changed because now they are flex elements. The thing is that the flex property does not have a single job like the background or, or the justify content, which does a single job. The flex property is actually a module with many sub properties like justify content and align items and many other CSS properties, which are actually the part of the flex module. And you cannot use any of these properties outside of a flex container. Now, since the body element is above the container, these properties do not have any effect on the boxes. So let's try again. This time I'm copying it to the flex container and when I save it, now we see that it has worked and the boxes are centered horizontally. So if you want to make a horizontal centering, you should use justify content. It also has other values to explain, but I'm going to make another video for that. You can also center your div elements vertically and for doing that align items will be this time the right choice so let's try again the align items value i'm copying it here and when i save it we see that nothing has happened because there is actually not enough height space for that let me show that with a background color as we see now the height of the container is only as large of its boxes so let's try a larger height let's say 500 pixels. And finally, we achieved to center our boxes vertically. So Flexbox made aligning elements much easier than using standard CSS. There are also other good ways for centering elements with CSS, but if you are using Flexbox, then you can easily centralize your elements as I did in this video. So I hope you guys find this video helpful and if you do, please hit the like button and for learning more about Flexbox, check out the playlist I created for more related videos. Thank you guys for watching and see you soon.